Bonjour Centennial, and comment allez-vous? My name is Vien, and in light of the recent outbreak and apocalyptic chaos that's been going on, I thought it would be nice to do something a little more relaxing and joyful. And what's more relaxing and joyful than a Bob Ross painting tutorial? So the tutorial I'll be following is called Sunset Aglow, so feel free to follow along. I'll be listing all of the colors and materials you'll need on the board as we go. So I've already covered my entire canvas in a coat of liquid white. It is an old canvas and I am now allowed to leave the house to go to the store to get a new one. So I covered over an old painting, so feel free to do the same. So Bob is instructed to lay a nice thin coat of Indian yellow. The next color we use is yellow ochre. We're not even going to clean the brush, we're just going to go with a nice light layer of that underneath. So next Bob says to go in with a bright red. I don't have bright red, so I'm going to be using scarlet. To finish out the sky, Bob wants to mix a nice lavender color with alizarin and crimson and phthalo blue. So as for Bob's instructions, next we are mixing a little bit of titanium white with a little bit of alizarin and crimson to make pink clouds that we're going to add to our scenic background. Now that I like the look of my clouds, we're gonna add a very bright white spot right there. We're gonna blend it out. It's gonna be our sun. We're gonna try and keep it in, but he's still coming through, creating those beautiful shadows on this cloud. We're gonna add some little mountains right here. So we're gonna use that beautiful lavender color. We're gonna mix it with a little bit of titanium white. We're gonna take our scraper, and we're gonna scrape off just a little roll of paint and add it right about there. My apologies, my camera died and I made some trees without you, but I'm just gonna get right back into it. I'm gonna make a couple more trees right here, make some big ones, and continue on from there. I'm gonna mix that beautiful phthalo blue and a little bit of your color of the week, burnt sienna, and just the smallest bit of black to add that nice little bushy effect right around here. So next, Bob's gonna take a dark color. He's gonna brush it all the way down this way, creating a little more of a waterline. And then I'm gonna mix some sap green, yellow ochre, and a little bit of black, just to make a nice dark, deep green to create some highlights, make some grassy areas along the edge of the water. The last thing Bob does here is he adds just a little bit of green and highlights just the tip of the trees. Oh yeah. Now he wants to add a little bit of a path right here. So we're gonna take a little bit of that dark black and a little bit of Van Dyke white, make a little gray, add a little phthalo blue to make a little bluish gray path. We're gonna put it there. We're gonna add just a couple more bushes on top and then we should be done. All right, y'all, that is my Bob Ross painting all complete. I hope y'all enjoyed. Now stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.